If you're looking for a two fabric quilt block that is quick and easy to do, then bento box might be a great choice. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a bento box quilt block and give you ideas for ways to use it in a quilt. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. Bento box is a nice traditional quilt block that is usually made with two different fabrics. So today I'm going to show you how to make this block, but be sure to stay to the end of this video where I'm also going to show you some different quilt designs and layouts that you can use this block in. To make this block, you're going to need your two different fabrics. So I'm sharing dimensions for how to make the 12 inch block, but it's easy to adapt this block to different sizes. And if you're interested in some of the common sizes, you can click the link below to go to the tutorial and that will have some numbers for you. So the first thing you're going to need from each uh, fabric is a two and a half inch square and you're going to need four of each color. Then you're going to need a two and a half by four and a half inch rectangle and you will also need four of each color. And the last thing you're going to need is two and a half by six and a half inch pieces and you will need two of each color. The one nice thing if you're making a 12 inch block is that to make this you need one strip with the fabric of each color for each block. So that makes it easy to figure out how much fabric you need. So once you have all your pieces cut out then we're ready to begin sewing. So the first thing you're going to do is take two and a half inch square of each fabric and you're going to join those with a quarter inch seam. And then once those are joined, take a quick second and double check that the length of this is four and a half inches. So that will help confirm that your seam allowance is accurate and it will help everything go together more smoothly once you know that you're sewing with an accurate seam allowance. And then press this to the darker side. And we're gonna press all the seams this way and it will just help the construction go together uh, easier in this block. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a four and a half inch piece of one of the fabrics and we're gonna join that on and it's gonna make like a little corner. So now that we have this piece, we're going to press that and again we're going to press that seam toward the darker fabric. Now often in this kind of block I wouldn't press this way because it's adding a little bulk to that seam but you'll see why I'm pressing this way in a little while. So then once we have this piece done now we're just going to add the third row with uh, this color again. So we'll add the four and a half inch piece onto this side. Now we know it goes onto this side because this is the side with the seam and we want it to go over a side with one seam. If we did it on this side by mistake, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would probably still look fine, but I'm just kind of quilt OCD to keep everything balanced. So we're just gonna join those two together with the quarter inch seam. So now those two are joined and then this seam is also pressed to the darker fabric. And then the last thing we have to do is just add the six and a half inch strip onto the top. And if your seam allowance is accurate, then it's going to line up perfectly. So there's what our little piece is gonna look like. And we can see that this piece is added onto something with one seam and this piece is added onto something with one seam. So once you've made this piece, you're going to make another identical piece so that you have two. And then you're going to make two more pieces that are mirror images of each other. They're the same, but the fabrics are alternated. And on this one, we've also pressed all the seams toward the darker fabric. So once all four of your quadrants have been made, we're gonna join those together. So first we're gonna sew them into pairs and put them together so that the little square corners are touching each other. 
and you can see when we go to sew them together because we pressed all the seams to the dark side the seams will nest together and it will just help it go together easily so after you've joined the pieces into pairs the last seam is just to join the pairs together and there you have the finished block so if everything worked out okay this is going to be 12 and a half inches so in the final quilt it will be 12 inches if you're looking for ideas and ways to use this block in a quilt then click on the link below that will have some ideas to get you started but you'll also want to get my quilt workbook for bento box and what this workbook does it has um, a tutorial for how to make the block and it has some numbers for multiple different sizes so you can make it all different sizes it has inspiration pages for quilts either with just the block by itself the block with alternate plain blocks the block with alternate four patch blocks the block on point or on point with alternates so it has lots of color diagrams to get you going and it also comes with coloring pages for the different layout diagrams so that you can design your own bento blocks quilt i hope you have fun with this quick and easy block and use it to make some beautiful quilts for more quilting tutorials ideas and inspiration be sure to check out my website ebitastudio.com